Alright, you can come in now. You can look at what we're playing together. It's a Konami game. Is it a Contra? Nope. Okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's starring your favorite heroes in a half shell. Donatello, Michelangelo, <laughs> Raphael, and Leonardo. And Caesar. And Caesar, yeah. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Turtles 4, Turtles in Time. At hey. least it's not the NES one. <laughs> yeah, it, I mean, there's a bunch of NES ones. Uh, anyway, yeah. hey guys, it's you Chris Kringle here. About. Definitely, yeah. Uh, I almost, I'm also joined by Adam Bacon. Hello. And I'm just going to do that. All right. So, yeah, we are playing uh, Ninja Turtles together as a surprise to him. And I'm just going to adjust the settings here. We're going to be right. playing on hard. Um, I'll explain why in a sec. All right. Uh, we're going to change controller type to B. So that uh, special is X. You'll I'll explain that in a little bit. Give us max continues. And I'll let you choose the color mode. So you can actually choose what the graphics kind of look like in this game. You could either choose between the animation or the comic. Animation's like what is like the eighties turtles look and okay. uh, comic is like their classic comic look more so. Hmm. Okay. Like the comic they're all different colors, like shades of green. But um, hmm. they don't have pupils, hmm. and in animation, they're all the same color. Um, I'll let you choose. Uh, let's go comic. Comic? All right. <coughs> and there you go. And obviously, we're going to be playing uh, two-player together. We wanted to, so like, one of the reasons we decided to, I decided to set this up, Man, I have to really press that start button. Uh, <laughs> is because we, we play a lot of two players together, but not a lot of... Oh, yeah, by the way, the turtles have different attributes. Do you want me to say them? Uh, like, yes, uh, please. So, I know uh, so Leonardo, he's the balanced one. So, uh, That's Mike, blue, right? Blues, yeah. I'm going from left to right. Okay. Uh, Michelangelo hits the hardest, but he has the slowest combos. Right. Donatello has the longest reach, but I believe like the slowest walking speed. Okay. And Raphael is the fastest, but he has the shortest reach. Who are you choosing? I'm often a fan of staff-like weapons, so I think I'll go with this one. Donatello? Yeah. All right, I'm going to go... I usually choose Michelangelo, but I think I'll choose Raphael for this one. I'll be that speed that we need. And this is April O'Neil reporting. Did they just steal the Statue of Liberty? Yes, yes they did. This game there is... <laughs> Hey, Shredder, bring that statue back, you bloated beanbag. Yeah. Okay, so first level, Big Apple, 3 a.m. And, like, you know, Y's attack and B is jump. And so, like, get you a little used to it. Hey, ooh, hi. All right. And this is just pretty much your classic beat-em-up game. All right. Uh, we got to full switch soldiers at first and stuff. Um, the X button special, it's like a really hard hitting attack, but it costs health to use. Oh, I've been spamming it. Yeah, don't, don't spam it. <laughs> uh, also something pretty useful to know is when there's a way to, um, I'll show it off in a sec once we get some enemies, we have to... Alright. Alright. Hang on, I just... I need to get used to this <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Good job. And right, watch out for the wrecking ball. They came in like a wreck. Yeah, see what you just did there? That's yeah. like the slam. There is actually a way to control doing that. When you hit a foot soldier, walk up to them, like hit them once and then walk up to them and press attack again, and you'll always do the slam. So I got uh, slammed. Yeah, you got. <laughs> so yeah, do that and it's a good way to like get rid of them. Also, what I just did there was like the opposite of that. When you hold the direction, and hit Whoa. the attack, then you'll do like you'll throw them towards the screen. All right. There is a way to control it. Like it's not in the arcade version of this game. It's actually random which one you do. So it's good. Like, all right. Let you Woo. do that. In this screen KO. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of getting a feel for how my combos work. Yeah. You'll see. Like the Dante has the reach for him. Yeah. Where I was like, I'm a little shorter.
And like one of the main differences between hard mode is like, oh geez, um, is the amount of what foot soldiers you'll find um, sooner. Like you won't find those pink guys like this soon okay. if you're playing normal. But uh, you know that's just how we're doing it. So I gotta ask, like, what was, what were you, like, I guess you were totally blind going in, but, like, what did you expect, like, when, when I was saying, oh, we're playing a blind game today? Or not blind, mm -hmm. but you're, you're coming in blind. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I didn't really know, <laughs> I, I really didn't have much expectation, and I, I, yeah, it's, it's hard to say, I, ooh, I did the screen throw thing. That's good, yeah. Definitely get used to doing that, because trust me, you're going to need to be able to do that uh, okay. somewhat consistently. It's really breaking the fourth wall, am I right? <laughs> Alright. Boss time? Yep, it's boss time. We gotta fight uh, Baxter Stockman. Terminate the turtles! He's not that hard, to be honest. He just kind of flies around and shoots. Um, I need to, like, get better at, at attacking in midair. Yeah, there we go. Here, I'll, I'll stick to one side, you stick like the other, oh, I guess, oh, okay. other than like, yeah, yeah. Oh, whoops. I know, it's kind of hard for me because my character does like a, a, a downward dive. Same, there is a way to control like how you do this. Like, I think, yeah, there you go. If you press them kind of at the same time, you'll do like a mid-air kind of thing. Um, oh, alright, I got some damage on Yeah. Oh, there we go, I took it, I, I got that. Oh yeah, don't let him, don't let him grab you. I'm trying to think of how to how I did that roll. I've done that a couple times, but oh, like the on the ground, you mean? Yeah, right. yeah. I I don't know. I don't do it a whole lot, so I can't really say how to do it. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Oh, I lost a life. Great. Oh, be careful. You're getting low yourself. Yeah, I see that. Oh, all right. It's okay. Do we get our lives back in between levels? Uh, when you get enough points, you can earn an extra life. Okay, because I'm taking, I'm down to three. It's okay. Uh, we got a lot more, like, stuff that go on for us. Like, continues-wise. Okay. It's kind of opposite, like, you know, hard, even though it's hard mode, they give you more continues, you know? Yeah. And I, is that it? I think that's it for him. Or wait, no. Yeah, that's it for him, yeah. Wow. All the bad guys explode in this game. It's pretty fun. Lovely. <laughs> Cowabunga! <laughs> All right, now oh, second level, Alley Cat Blues. So, like, this isn't my first time playing the game. I played this game before, um, <laughs> but it's been a little bit, so I've, I have to kind of get used to it again. All right. And this game has—we can't really hear it ourselves too much, but this game has great music. Like a lot of, um, I remember a lot of beat em ups in the day and age had some good music. Yeah, also the slam's just really good, just clearing away enemies. You know, you can slam them into other people, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was stuck in the dumpster for a sec. Alright. Oh jeez, watch out for that. Uh, I lost a life. Mm. <laughs> oh wow, I lost a life because of that. Damn. Fell down the manhole cover. Be careful of that. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, we got new enemies here, uh, Roadkill Rodneys. <laughs> um, I used to think these guys were kind of annoying, but they're not, they're not too bad. You can't slam Roadkill Rodneys though. You can't okay. Like, attack them. Okay, it, like, it felt a little clunky at first, but I'm starting to get the hang of this. 
Okay, yeah, that's good. Yeah, once you get used to it, it gets like really fun. Once you understand it, like how. Well, yeah. I guess how law games uh, is, but. Yeah. yeah. Uh, more, more of these guys. Roadkill Rodney, huh? Yeah, that's the actual name, yeah. It's funny, because at my last job, we had a delivery driver named Rodney. <laughs> All right, that's a that's a, a power attack. I guess I'll use it now. Does like a little uh, oh, cool. instant kill kind of thing. <coughs> that guy like jumped on screen and got knocked away before I even saw half of his model. <laughs> yeah. All right, the pizza's health. I guess. Yeah, I guess I needed it. All right. Oh jeez. Watch out for the manhole. Damn. Yeah, beat him off screen. There we go. <laughs> Alright, now I believe... Ninja Turtles for Smash. Yep, we got a boss fight. I'm gonna mangle you, green slim balls. Alright, we gotta fight Metalhead now. He, they misspelled the word slime ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Metalhead's pretty easy, honestly. Yeah, because he doesn't fly around. Especially with two of us, we can like... Yeah, the game's easier with two people. That's kind of why, like, it's. I think it's meant to be played with two people, to, or at least like for, for the fun factor, you know. Yeah. A I, lot of I've had are. games like that where it's like <laughs> they're a lot more fun when you have multiple players. I haven't had a chance to try Sunrun Kaga in two player. I, I imagine it'd probably be pretty fun. Oh yeah. Yeah. Have you played it like in single player before? Or? Oh yeah, I've beaten it in single player. Okay, yeah, because I haven't played it myself. Hmm. Okay, we got him. Yeah, Metalhead's done. <laughs> yeah, alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, the next level is pretty interesting, actually. So, we got... Yeah, yeah, that's it. We got level 3 Sewer Surfing, with uh, a, a Xenomorph as the silhouette. <laughs> You'll see what that is in a sec. So, this is like um, an on-rail <laughs> section. Okay. So, I'll be like the bottom, you be the top. Okay. So you want to like avoid obstacles and fight the enemies as All you're right. going along. Uh, yeah, like those those uh, red spike things. You they, well, you right. want to avoid those. Um, they come up closer. They come up sooner in this stage, like than they do normally. You know, that's why mm. another thing of hard mode. <laughs> Keep missing like all of them. Oh, mm -hmm. well. No more points for us, I guess. Oh! Yeah, you stuck <laughs> your toe. <laughs> oh, pfft. Oh, that was health. Oh, no. Oh, well, well it's okay. Oh, uh. uh, damn, I stopped oh. my toe. <laughs> we both did. No, I, I can't jumping over the good thing. It's okay. Oh, uh, damn, I... Yeah, I lost we both life. died. All right, we got pizza monsters here, which are pretty much xenomorphs. They ain't they that hard to take out, but... Alright, now I believe... Oh, damn. Alright. <laughs> now, that's not the end of the level yet. Okay. But, um... That's just on our score. Because, of course, gotta have a boss fight. At least I'm pretty sure. Where is it at? <laughs> Yeah, here it is. First thing, the sewers. Then the world. Yeah, we gotta fight the Rat King. Um, just attack his thing. If you stand, if you kind of hang out in the right in the middle of it, then you'll get you won't get hit by most of the things. As we both get hit. Yeah. <laughs> oh damn! I lost a life again. There we go. That's probably one of the boss fights that's like it's pretty good to use the super attack on, which was us kind of spamming that. <laughs> yeah. It definitely destroys the racking there. Not too bad. Oh, hey, cutscene, story stuff. Yeah, in case you don't know, we have to stop the Shredder because he stole the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> so. All right, we're now we're in the Technodrome. Let's kick shell. 
This game is definitely pretty cheesy, but it's definitely like yeah. the same kind of cheesy as like you know the '80s and uh, cartoon was and stuff. Yeah, and it's definitely has a charm to it. So now um, we gotta detect uh, more roadkill Rodneys. Ow! Yeah, watch out for that. Oh, so I don't mm. think we've really done this much. Oh, hey, new enemies, mousers. Uh, they can be kind of annoying, but they go down one hit, so... Okay. Yeah. Also, I figured out how that roll thing works. Oh, you did? If you keep moving in a straight line, <laughs> you'll start doing a dash after a short period of time, and then if you jump while dashing, you do a roll instead of jumping. Okay, yeah, that, that's what I was actually about to explain, is, like, when you're, um... When you run for a bit, you go into a dash, and yeah. you, when you press the attack, you'll do like a dash attack kind of, mm -hmm. and yeah, stuns I, a I, lot of enemies. I figured that out, and I also figured out that that's how the roll works. That's good. Good, good, good. Uh, you probably need that pizza, yeah. yeah. Pizza time! Oh yeah, these pink guys are like really annoying, because they block your attacks. So you gotta like, get them with a good like, kind of... Dash and then like grab them, kind of. Okay, uh, save that for a bit. Oh, oh that's whoops. good. Yeah, that's fine. That's actually not a bad time. Oh, damn. <laughs> I like how they're just materializing the floor. Like, yeah. Like, T1000 up in here. I like how Shredder's face is on there. It's like, yeah. yes. All right, don't touch that gate. All right, we got two bosses this time. Master, say have fun. Fun. Purple so, on purple, yellow, red on red. Yeah, we got uh, two bosses here. Uh, Toka and Razar. Ow. From the second Ninja Turtles movie, I believe. Yeah, be careful of that. We should probably just team up on one, I think. Just to okay. get it done faster. Like, let's go for, for uh, this one right here. Oh, jeez. Oh, be careful. He just body slammed into me. Alright, we defeated Razar, so now we just got Toka. He's almost done. Oh, damn! <laughs> oh, I used to continue, damn it. Or not continue, uh, freaking. Well, I guess, yeah. Oh, whatever. And they retro mutate back <laughs> to their original forms. <laughs> and there we go, uh, two boss fights. Wow, what do you know? But that's not quite the end of the level yet. Uh, okay. Oh, sorry, I was say I save that pizza, but. I didn't mean oh, to. Well. Grab uh, that's alright. So, yeah, now we got the mandatory, um, you know, l elevator segment, as are in all beat em ups. So, let's see what's in for that, you know? Yeah. Oh, God, let me go. Come on. So you liking the Phil Donatello's bow staff? Yeah, definitely. It's actually like, I don't use Raphael a whole lot, so it's kind of interesting, but I like, he's pretty fast. Hmm. It definitely is pretty good when playing a game like this. Um, yeah. I definitely appreciate the longer range, for sure. Yeah. Oh wait, I didn't use a continue, never mind, I'm just, I'm like, about to, because I'm yeah. like, out of lives. Yeah, we're both about to, <laughs> but it's all right. We're 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 both doing pretty good, mm -hmm. all things considered. Oh, is it seven continues each or seven continues between the two of us? I'm pretty sure it's each. Okay. Then again, like, I've never gotten a game over with this with two players, so we'll we'll see. But it, it, we are not losing. We're not yeah. losing. Come yeah. on. All right, there's the, these guys. Uh, there we go. Yeah, freaking. There we go. All right, now I believe this is the part I was talking about. Uh, yes. So this is the part uh, tonight. I dine on turtle soup. This is the part where you need to be to be somewhat consistent at doing the um the throw at screen attack because that's how you beat this boss. You have to throw the foot soldiers at mm. the screen. Remind me again what it is. Uh, you attack them once and then go up to them and hold a direction and press the 
um, the attack button again, and you'll throw them at the screen almost every time. But like these guys block your attacks, so it's like it's really hard to do it. So we kind of have to get a good dash into them, you know. Um, there we go. I yeah, I used to continue. Ah, uh, damn it. Yeah, okay, I continued to. It's okay. Press start. Oh. Nah. There we go. Alright, yeah, you really want to get a good dash on him. That's a pretty consistent way of doing it, I found. Because, like, you yeah, dash into him and just, like, do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah there right. we go. We're doing, we're doing better now. This is definitely, like, one of the most annoying boss fights in the game. Because just, like... Because if you're playing normal or easy, these guys aren't here. It's like a, it's like a combination of foot soldiers, you know? But here it's just only these pink guys. Hmm. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, I missed uh, my trajectory on that one. I keep, like, messing up, but... Same. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Woo, well, I'm flying there. This is like Yoshi's Island in reverse. <laughs> we both. <laughs> You want to watch out for his claw attack, too. <laughs> so as I say that. I literally hadn't gotten hit by that until that point. Wow, I'm just the master jinxster. Jinxster? <laughs> Come on. Ah, oh, goddammit. I was doing it too good. Yeah, we were doing so well at first, but then, like, I can't, like, get it now, because I keep messing up. Oh, got one. Yeah, you're doing better than I am, I think. Hard to say. <laughs> so you got what I was going for. <laughs> See, what really gets me is the way the screen keeps going back and forth. Yeah, I think that's the way that they try to mess you up a bit. Well, it works. To a degree, at least. Oh, damn it, I lost a life. <laughs> <laughs> Good, good, good. All right, he's on his last one. Just a couple more should do it. It gets hard to, yeah. Like another thing, it's hard to see because like the freaking we got takes up like okay, good because he takes up like some of the screen yeah. too. So it's like ah. Uh. All right, <coughs> he just. My patience is wearing thin. I'm banishing you to a time warp from which you will never return. You wondered why this is called Turtles in Time? Well, about to see. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 25 million BC prehistoric turtle sauruses. That's a mouthful. All right. <clears throat> I also, because like you mentioned, like there's other turtle games on the NES and stuff before this, but yeah. like this is definitely like the best one, like or one of the best ones ever made, like at that point. But also, like mm -hmm. the if you look at the cover, like it had like a lot of uh, hmm. cool, like it had a lot of this cool stuff in it. Like the cover looks awesome. Like oh geez, watch Jesus. out for that. <laughs> yeah, I was about to, I was about to say it, but uh, but yeah, now we're in prehistoric times. Yeah. Yeah, you want to watch out for those exploding eggs. It's like that game Dynamite. Oh yeah, I think I remember that, yeah. God, that game takes me back. Well, at least now we know dash attacks are super effective against these pink guys. Yeah, I just, I keep messing it up. What the fuck am I doing? Like, I keep like messing up the grab afterwards. I was using it so well earlier, but then now I can't. That's what happens, I guess. 
Oh yeah, these, these guys wearing like these freaking axes uh, are still easy. <laughs> yeah. Not much of a difference with these guys. They almost look a bit like Sub Zero. Sorta, of, yeah, but they go down just like any other foot soldier. Yeah. Also, why I think it's weird how all the like the bosses explode. Like, even the ones who aren't, like, you know, yeah. robotic, obviously. But, like, the foot soldiers are robotic, so it makes sense why they explode. Anyway, we got new enemies, Stone Warriors. Hmm. From Dimension X. Uh, they like to charge at you, but honestly, they're not that hard to deal with. You can kind of just, like, keep hitting them. <laughs> Boom. Oh, hi. So, like, uh, while we're doing this, like, because, you know... We're doing a lot of the same stuff on each stage. <laughs> yeah. uh, what is your experience with beat em ups? I'm curious. Oh wow, these guys. <laughs> I've beat em ups and hack and slashes are a genre I've more recently gotten into. Mm. <laughs> um, in terms of stuff that's kind of like this, one that I I probably should get back to, but one that I really enjoyed that I found on the 3DS was a game that. Uh, called Code of Princess. I didn't think much of it going in, but I had a little bit of spare cash on my account and I was like, eh, what the hell, let's try it out. And it, it was kind of like this, like obviously not Ninja Turtles, but like this kind of core play style, but with a bit more variance in attacks with like <laughs> combo centric <laughs> combat that's sort of like 2.5D, like it's like side scrolling, but with a bit of a Z axis like this one is. <laughs> and. <laughs> <laughs> and they had like four different main characters to choose from. Okay. <laughs> What's funny is the worst, like, that game actually had some pretty great characters. The least interesting character was the protagonist. <laughs> and we both just died from being run over by dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> and you see the like, screen. Like, you had a ninja, a necromancer, a bard, and like, the main, the main character wasn't too boring gameplay-wise. She had like a giant-ass sword. But personality-wise, she was just like a total Mary Sue. I assume you know what that saying means. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna grab the pizza there again. Yeah. Like, she, she was just not interesting as a person in the slightest. Like, the ninja had like a lot of secrets, and I'm convinced that they're transgender. <laughs> Although there's nothing to prove that, but I'm pretty sure that they're biologically female, but identify as male. Um, the necromancer is like... <laughs> sewn together from a bunch of different parts of different figures and she's just kind of like got this like nonchalant emo vibe and then like the bard he uses like an electric guitar as a weapon mm. <laughs> and then like I think there's like an arcade mode where a bunch of other side characters become playable too but the it's only those four for the main ones your history slime balls all right we gotta fight slash now um <laughs> Slash can be kind of annoying, especially with one player, but it's not as bad with two players. Yeah. You can only attack him um, <coughs> from the back. You can't attack him from the oh, front. Oh, okay. But once you do get him stunned, he's not too bad. You just want to kind of get him when he's just landing. Yeah. Yeah, some other uh, hack and slash games I've played. <laughs> Eterno Blade is a really fun one. It's got, like, a, a time... And, <laughs> like, really fun flashy combos and, like, a time-bending sort of gimmick. It's like, wait, wait, you have, you like place like time stamps down on the field and then use them to like teleport back. You can reverse time for everything except for yourself and certain marked objects. So like, when you get good at it, you can do things like you can use a combo to knock an enemy away and then reverse time to pull them back into you and then return time to normal and continue your combo and stuff like that. <laughs> Like, you have a limited amount of mana that all your time-based skills come from. <laughs> and there's also, like, sigils you can get that give you things like restoring health when time is in reverse and things like that. So, yeah, it, it's, it's really fun. Mm, I see. Also, it has a certain type of enemy. I don't remember exactly what they're called, but it's honestly one of the creepiest enemies ever. They're kind of like... They, got them, by oh, the way. Okay. They look sort of like vampire... There's, like, the image of, like, a vampire bat and, like, a demonic head with the behavior of a boo from the Mario games. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, if I remember correctly, I think they're called stalking bats or something like that. I see. <laughs> but yeah, those ones are really fun. Senran Kagura, as I mentioned, is a, a really fun one. 
<coughs> Skull and crossbones. Yeah, so 1530 AD. Going to the pirate age. <laughs> they were... <laughs> So we used one, each of these one continues, so now yeah. we're all about to do another one as well. Alright, yeah. watch watch out for those nooks on the floor. Don't walk into them. Oh, okay. Thanks yeah. for the warning. But that's pretty cool, like, you know, because to be honest, like, beat em ups were something I played more when I was younger, like, more so than, like, well, actually, like, uh, until this game, I played them a bit yeah. more, like, now, but, like, I used to play them a bit more when I was, like, younger and stuff. Yeah. You know? I, oh, I'm, I'm the opposite. Actually. I never really cared for them as a kid, but I've gotten more into them nowadays. Yeah. But like I said, I started experimenting a little bit more a bit now, but like, there's a period for it just I didn't really play them much, like, mm -hmm. you know. But, you know. Oopsies. Yeah, that's what happens. Honestly, not what I was expecting. Or you expecting just like fall through the floor? Yeah, just... pretty much. Oh damn! I walked into one. <laughs> Whoops. You know, it'd be pretty mean if they put one behind this post to where you couldn't see it. You know? Yeah. Luckily, the game designers did not do that. Oop! I was dashed into. The... Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, oh. rock soldiers, or stone warriors. And cannonballs. Uh, press start, yep. Ow. Yeah, it's a pretty quick thing to react to, those cannonballs, so they just want to kind of... Yeah. They usually don't strike the same place twice, though, so... Mm -hmm. I mean, you can see them launch from the ship in the background, which gives you some forewarning when they're coming. Yeah. Save that for when the enemies come. Oh. Oh, that's fine. I damn it. Oh, come on! Uh, I thought they were coming faster. Oh, well. There we go. Oh, whoa, I almost knocked into that. Yeah. Yeah! Cowabunga, dudes! Oop. That oh, almost I... knocked me onto the thing. Damn. Oh, well, I almost walked in another one. So, funny enough, we're actually talking about, I think you were talking about, uh, like, what was it, Ninja Turtles rap, like, before this, when we were recording? Um, like, it, it was about League of Legends, but I had a reference to Ninja Turtles. I had a reference to it, right, 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 yeah. right. Oh, damn it. Right. There we go. Pizza time. Boss time? Oh, uh, not, not quite. quite. Oh, come on, they have guns now. Uh, it's alright. Yeah. Still just kind of corner them, man. It's alright. Alright, now another uh, two battle thing. You're walking the plank, shell brains. We gotta fight Bebop and Rocksteady, who are pretty easy. Just let's focus on Rocksteady, though, Rhino. Oh, jeez. Ow. He killed us both in that same move. Damn. I just have a gangplank galleon playing in my head right now. <laughs> they both done, yeah. <laughs> they killed us at the same time, we killed them at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, they have, there's a lot of funny <laughs> animations in this game. I like it. Yeah. Also, like playing it on, we're playing it on the Retron, by the way. Um, and the, the the game really looks great with like the HD yeah know, look it really to does. it. Mm -hmm. A lot of the Super Nintendo games really get looking nice when you have it on the Retron mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. I guess also if you have like the Super Nintendo Classic, it's also mm -hmm. good. But yeah, but this that doesn't have this game on it. Anyway, 1885 AD, bury my shell at w wounded knee. We're into the cowboy age, old west. <laughs> we got a little train thing. Look at that. Okay, they aren't actually. No, nah, they're not actually like, things to worry about. I think there might be eventually like some obstacles, like barrels and stuff. I might we run into, but it shouldn't be too bad.
<laughs> oh, hey, there's a horse right there. What do you know? Oh, yeah. Never noticed that. Oh, yeah. Ninja kick. Just your everyday training montage. Oh, yeah, don't be fooled by those guys. They're about as subtle as the ninjas in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're about as subtle as, like, Ninja Turtles hiding in a trench coat and hat in, like, yeah, broad right. daylight. <laughs> Speaking of which, like, so, like, I mean, you you haven't played this game before, yeah. you know, obviously. But, like, how much do you know about the Ninja Turtles, like, kind of before this, you know? In general? Yeah, just in general, you know? I'm, uh, I know a decent bit. Right. <laughs> like, I've never really watched them much myself, but I've seen a fair bit of things about them. There was that video I showed you about like how accurate they were to real ninjas. Yeah. That guy Jun Goomba did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and believe it or not, there was actually uh, a uh, splat fest about the Ninja Turtles. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Yeah. It was like three weeks in a row. That first one was I think Donatello versus uh, Michelangelo. Second one was Raphael versus Leonardo, and then the third one was the winner of the previous two. I don't remember who overall won. Though. I think it might have been Michelangelo. He's pretty popular generally among fans. But I I don't remember exactly. I, I I can look up the records after this. Okay. Let go of me. <laughs> I hit him out of his jumping animation. But you just kind of know the general gist of it is basically what you're saying, you know? Yeah. I, I know the broad strokes. Like, I probably wouldn't get specific references to, like, individual moments that are popular among fans. But, right, like... right. <laughs> but you know their kind of general backstory. Yeah, right? I, I, I... I mean, it's explained in every theme song, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, and I've also seen the epic rap battles of history, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles vs. Renaissance Artists. Oh, uh, yeah. Have That's you right. seen that? I think I have, actually. Mm. I think you might have shown me it once. Possibly, yeah. <laughs> Just last week they actually posted a new battle and it's honestly one of my favorites. <laughs> I'll show it to you after the recording. Sure. <laughs> oh, watch out for these. Ugh. Oh man, I, I failed that one. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. I need that. Oh no! Well, now nobody needs it anymore. Okay. <laughs> Let's we'll just pass it by, I guess. Our right, boss fight. Oh hey, the health pickups in the boss arena. That's oh helpful. goody, fresh turtles. So this is Leatherhead, and he's pretty easy. All you'll do is like you'll hit him a couple times, then you'll scutter over to the other side, and just like r rinse, repeat, you know. All right. So when he gets down, you'd want to get out of the way. Basically. Yeah. Yeah, just after you hit him a couple times, he'll do that. Alright. I keep mistiming it, though. <laughs> and he'll throw some barrels into the mix. Oh, damn. Again, we both went down at the same time. Yeah, we're both kind of keeping up at the same level, pretty much. Yeah. By throwing his freaking lobsters at us? What the heck? <laughs> It's like that guy who threw a crab at Hungry Box. Oh yeah, that was great. He should be. Yeah, he's done. <laughs> <laughs> Old Leatherhead be running, be like get run over by the train. I guarantee. <laughs> yeah, we're <laughs> both of the exact same life and continue. Funny enough. Yeah. But in case you want uh, drinks, it's a mini fridge right there. Oh, cool. <laughs> I, you know. I just using like the little transitionary periods to slowly, incrementally get that information up. <laughs> With By the way, we'll be here uh, next year. You know, Neon Night Riders, 2020 AD. We'll be we'll be here uh, next year. <laughs> so this is kind of like the the sewer level, except it's a different perspective, but same kind of general idea. Getting kind of some F-Zero vibes from this. Yeah, definitely like some Mode 7 kind of stuff. <laughs> so yeah, maybe just stick to each side kind of thing. Okay, sounds good. We'll do it. 
And I think like <laughs> we both the, like whacked them on opposite ends. There will be obstacles eventually, and I think health pickups as well. So okay. be sure to be aware of that. The question marks are health. Okay. Just so you know. Ahead of time. All right. Thanks for the heads up. I don't know why they changed it from pizza to question mark in the when we do the on rail segments, but you know. <laughs> I guess. Uh, oh damn it! What the fuck? All right. I guess the turtles love a good name of a uh, clue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I got hit and picked up the health at the same time. Uh, yeah, watch out for those Mausers. They, I don't think they can be attacked. Oh mm -hmm. uh, yeah, get this guy out of here. Oh, damn it. There we go. Oh, <laughs> I got shot in midair. And perspective change, and this looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And as you can probably guess, based on the sewer level, and like every level, say the magic word. Boss fight! And look at the background, you can see him. He's flying in. Kind of looks like Astro Boy, crossed with like... Except know, not it. nearly as small, because once you look at him, he'll be, uh... Yeah. You know. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. So he's like... Face the wrath of Super Krang. Actually, no, he's more like the devil cross of Wario. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is Krang in his robot body. I mean, Krang is, Krang is just that little brain thing in his stomach. Oh, really? Yeah, the rest is just a robot body that, like, <laughs> he made or whatever. <coughs> like, he lost, like, he's from, like, another dimension. He lost mm. his body due to his crimes or whatever. And, yeah, Krang, Super Krang's pretty easy, except... Oh, God, watch out for the bombs. But yeah, he's he's not too bad, honestly. Oh god, watch out! Does that at one place worked for you? Oh my god! Not entirely, but somewhat well. Oh, watch out! Oh, I, I was hoping that the corner would be a safe place to. Out. <laughs> oh damn it! He's almost done though. Uh oh. About to use an arc continue. No, we got him. He's done. All right. High five. No, I, I, I was more turned to king like the game. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're going to pay. <laughs> All right. I don't remember how many points <coughs> you need for a, a, a life. I know I got one like at some point during this because I yeah I me too life, but I just don't remember how many points it is. But we'll figure it out. I guess I think it might be 200 or something maybe. Which would be good because we're almost there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I know at one point, I think it was during like the um, the Technodrome level. I think I got an extra life. Same with me. Yeah. All right. Twenty-one AD <laughs> Starbase, where no turtle has gone before. Now this, I believe, is the last level, at least last normal level. Okay. <laughs> so we're pretty damn close. Yeah. You know, like I said, this game is short. Yeah. And we're not looking too bad in terms of how we're doing with our live count and stuff. Yeah, I, th I think we've used three continues each, and we have seven, right? So. Yeah, just, the thing is, I just don't exactly know if it's like shared or. If oh it's yeah, like good point. But because if if it's individual, we're good. If it's shared, then there's only one left. Yeah, we'll we'll see, I guess. Yeah, because we both on our last life. Yeah. <coughs> Ow. Oh jeez. I took my hand off the controller to like cough into my elbow, and they appeared while I wasn't holding the. Controller. Oh, wow, they're getting game. <laughs> oh Jesus! All right, uh, I'll guess. Yeah, I'll. It's been to win. What are these things? Uh, little new robots, which I forgot the uh, the name of them. They kind of look like the um, leech bots in uh, the Blob. It's like a random reference to like, man, it's a, or connection, I mean, it's just like, wow. Yeah. Well, you know, crossover. <laughs> the Blob with the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> I mean, the Blob does jump out of manholes at the start of every level. Okay, I guess they both live in the sewers, okay. <laughs> well, damn, I'm like one sliver, no. I got this guy off here. Wow. Man, they just jump out of the laundry chutes now. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. 
Oh no. Oh wait, I gained an extra life. So it is 200. Oh cool. So you're pretty close as well, except... Yeah. I guess press start to continue. Oh jeez, now I'm getting hurt. Yeah, these guys, these, these freaking right, guys so are so if you get a continue things. here, then it's 7 each. Alright, we go. we're good. So yeah, we've we're used good. 4 each. In was or pretty much... 3 each, I think, right? No, it's 4 each. I'm oh, like 80% just... sure that that was our 4th. I, th I thought it was... 3, but... Oh, I guess I need this, huh? Watch out for the tiles! Nye! Ow. Oh, this... I didn't think it would... Oh, come on, that hit me! Yeah. God. It's like versing a Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know like a lot of friends like I know hate fighting him just because of that. Yeah. Again, it's more so casual people who play yeah. Smash, but it's like again. Also, it's like whenever you go up against a Nassau Lucas who's actually good, you know, it's I always feel mixed because on one hand they kick my ass, but on the other hand I'm glad they aren't just spamming. Yeah. <laughs> also, where are we? Are we on Mars? Because it's red. Oh yeah, it kind of looks like... Or, or maybe that's like lava? No, it's not. No, it's, nah, it's, it's gotta be like surface, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, we are in like the, what, 22nd century? Yeah. So. Could be a new. I'm planet. sure that Elon's has got his way by then. Yeah. But I guess for now we'll call it Mars. Yeah. Ugh. Oh man, flamethrowers. They learned flamethrower, <laughs> a rock type. Well, I guess there are some that can, like, yeah. like cargo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, his arm just came up from off screen and punched me away. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. Thank you, ma'am. These stone warriors aren't what it's all cracked up to be. All right. Oh god, these guys are kind of <laughs> cracked <new>. stone. <laughs> all right, I guess. Uh, superpower! Oh, you got it. <laughs> Man, yours is pretty long range because of your bow. Yeah. That's pretty nuts, Zoid. Oh my god! Yeah, okay, maybe don't stand there. I, sh I should probably take... I okay, I got knocked into... I actually, I got saved by my iframe. <laughs> also... <laughs> I... I, <laughs> I said earlier that I think you would like uh, near Automata. <laughs> One thing that really threw me off... <laughs> Like, it's a combo-focused game that's also, like, a bullet hell and beat-em-up. Well, more of a hack-and-slash than beat-em-up, but... It's like a bullet get hell hack-and-slash, and, yeah. and there are no iframes. Oh, really? <laughs> At least not initially. <laughs> I, you can ins Like, the game has a system where you can install chips that, like, add effects to your, your like... Add, give you, like, various effects, like, shockwaves on your attacks, or... Passive health regen when you go long enough without taking damage. Among those things, you can install something called anti chain damage, which gives you iframes. Damn. <laughs> you shell heads are dead. All right, now we gotta fight regular Crane. <coughs> Crane. <laughs> he's a little bit more challenging, but he's not as. Yeah. He's still not that hard. He'll disappear sometimes and re vanish. Yeah. Oh damn it! I don't know you, but I just start button mashing out of instinct there. <laughs> yeah, just like, oh, get out of it. <laughs> Definitely packing on the defense. Yeah. Oh damn, I'm burning through them. Why y'all? Ow, I jumped into it. <laughs> Alright, we're getting it done. Alright, now he summons robots too to help him. Luckily they're not too hard. But yeah. And Shredder's just in the back just like, yes! Have you ever, like, like, had something in a game, or I suppose in real life, where you think you know what it does, and you're like, yeah, that seems okay, and then you try it out, and it turns out to be way better than you thought it was? Uh, yeah, I feel like I have, but I can't think of anything off the top of my head. One of the, uh, when I was messing around with some of the chips in Automata, one that I noticed that I got was something called Shockwave. 
and the description said, as a shockwave effect to your attack. So what I was picturing was sort of like, <laughs> when your blade strikes an enemy, it kind of gives off like an electrical pulse that like has like a small AoE effect, right? So I'm thinking like, oh, that sounds like it could be decent. <laughs> <laughs> so initially I didn't have it installed because I didn't have a lot of room, but after upgrading how much storage space I had, I was like, eh, what the hell, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Turns out, it's actually more like Legend of Zelda style sword beams in a game where you can unleash like seven or eight attacks in a four second period. <laughs> so you can just like un unleash like torrents of sword beams <clears throat> and it's actually like really good. Alright, he's done. <laughs> Uh, definitely take- that one takes a little bit longer. Yeah, for sure. That hole's our way home, let's go! <coughs> Alright, now this is the actual final one we're doing. All right. It's the final boss. Alright, let's go. That was quick. Yeah, like, I mean, I guess a lot of beat-em-ups are generally quick. Yeah. But, especially, like, back in the day. Yeah, no kidding. Just like, you want a quick, quick thing. Alright, we're back to the present time. <coughs> uh, 1992 AD, Technodrome, the final shell shock. Turtle power. Let's go. All right, it's Shredhead. Shredhead. Yeah. <laughs> and he's Super Shredder now. <coughs> Turtle soup, oh, my God, favorite. He has, he has a lot of okay. Yeah. So he's he's pretty annoying in hard mode because he's really fast. No but kidding. uh, and he also just to <laughs> let you know, he has an insta kill attack. That green Hadouken he just shot. That's oh. an insta kill thing. So Good don't to get know. don't get hit by that. The best time to hit him is when he does his freeze attack, because he'll, like, shoot upwards, yeah. and it leaves, like, a, an, op an opening. Like, his flame's kind of annoying to deal with. Oh, jeez, I'm stopping my toe. Ooh, that was close. Nope! Oh, yeah, he, see, it's, it's like, supposed to be retro-mutagen kind of thing, is the idea. Mm, so I that's see. why you got turned back into a turtle. But it's not too bad overall, still. Oh, jeez, I ran right into the ice beam. Yeah, get him, got get flame him. and ice beam. And, uh, freaking. Retro mutagen. Oi. <laughs> oh jeez, let's try not to burn through the lives. Oh jeez. We are doing pretty well though against him. Oh wow, yeah, he only has two health units left. Yeah, the color is supposed to be like intimidating. It's like, oh yeah, it's a different color health bar now. Oh yeah, get him, get him. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. is he done? Yeah! yeah. yeah. That, that went pretty well. That went better yeah. than the Krang battle. Or at least in terms of quickness. Yeah. Ha. Uh, yeah. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, our four reptilian heroes, have overcome the arch-villain Shredder. It's just that easy to put it back on. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Splinter in the audience for some reason. No, oh, that's funny. <laughs> And that's the end of the game. Woohoo! Trying to find the record of who won the uh, Ninja Turtle Splatfest. I see, yeah, because like, the crowds are just going on. And also a funny thing of me almost getting knocked off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, I really like this game. It's definitely a pretty fun time. Uh, it's a quick, simple deal. Anyone can kind of just pick up and play it. And, I, I yeah. enjoyed that a lot more than I thought I would, honestly. Like, when I walked in, I saw, like, oh, God, we're playing Ninja Turtles. Initially, I was like, I'm not sure how I feel about this. But in the end, you <laughs> found yourself liking it? Yeah, around like halfway through the second level, once I was getting the hang of the combat, I was like, I'm liking this. Yeah. Okay, so if round one was R Raphael versus Leonardo in Raphael 1. Round two was My Michelangelo versus Donatello in Donatello 1. And then final round, Raphael versus Donatello. Donatello. Donatello 1. Oh, okay. Thing. So Donnie was being the most... Donatello by, by is the most popular Ninja Turtle among the Splatoon community. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> he's also a pretty popular turtle as well, so yeah. yeah. But I just, growing up, I knew a lot of people like Michelangelo, because <laughs> he's like, radical. So also, like, we haven't come up with it yet, but another reason why we played on hard mode, like some other games that came out around that time, there's true endings when you play mm. on certain difficulties. Okay. And you you get an actual difficulty and you also get this like cool like side like slideshow here of the characters oh, cool. when you play on hard mode. Because nice. if you play on a normal or easy difficulty, the game will pretty much say nut up and play on hard. <laughs> basically. Um and you also don't get this cool slideshow of the characters. Oh, that's cool. So yeah like and since play on hard mode is really not that much hard harder. Yeah. Um really it's only just the enemies 
come sooner, like the types of enemies. Yeah. And you know the bosses and don't really and change. Especially with two of us. Yeah, so. the bosses don't really change really, <coughs> from what I know. And yeah, like the game is definitely a lot of fun with two players, especially. You know, mm -hmm. and a lot of the bosses are like more manageable when you have two people. Like that, um, that slash battle we defeated reasonably well. Yeah. But it's definitely a pain when you only have one person. For know? sure. Same kind of thing with that one shredder thing where you have to like throw enemies at the yeah <laughs> at the at the screen. Roadkill Ronnie's messing up Michelangelo. <laughs> yeah, it's also like this game looks great. You know, like it even, does. Yeah. Even now, like, but especially for its time. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a lot of solid sprite quality, a lot of, you know, expressions, and uh, a lot of, like, charm and character going on with it, yeah. you know? I think a lot of the 16-bit games age pretty well. Like, it, 8-bit mm -hmm. games can look a little dated, but I feel like 16-bit's, like, just in that perfect range where it still looks clearly retro, oh. but it's just enough detail to be able to stand the test of time, at least as long as, like, the art yeah, team is... Um... <laughs> yeah, like game like Boy, I play Metroid Fusion all the time. That game looks gorgeous. Yeah, like the Game Boy Advance uses 16-bit, and also like nowadays it's more so like an artistic choice that people do 16-bit. Yeah, but man, I'm not complaining. I like it. But even a lot of like legitimate SNES and Game Boy Advance games like look great to this day. Yeah, especially <laughs> when you have them in HD like this. Yeah, um, or on the screen they're designed for, where it's a little more compact. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> Also, those little robots near, like, the end of the game, like, those tiny ones, mm -hmm. they're called Robot Walkers. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, no wonder I didn't remember it. <laughs> um, <coughs> so, just getting all the villains, too. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, um, I do actually know, like, there is a remake for this game called Reshell, hmm. and I have not heard good things about it. Mm -hmm. Mainly because, I think because they nerfed the music, like it's not as good, mm. and some of the other choices are a bit questionable. Yeah. So I think most people usually come back to this version when they play a Turtles game. Either that, or um, the Super, or not the Super, the Sega Genesis version of this game, mm. which is actually called something completely different, actually has some exclusive levels. Oh really? But it's essentially the same, like, flow and sort of plot. Okay. But slightly different. It's it's also called Hyperstone Heist instead of Turtles in Time. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. But the arcade version is pretty much like this, except with a few <coughs> different, like, sound differences. Also, mm. here's our little end thing. Congratulations! You have completed your training and... ...are now true ninjas. So, like, there, if you played it on normal easy, you would say, like, you have not completed your training. Mm. So, like, mm -hmm. because we completed hard mode, we are not true ninjas. <laughs> Cowabunga, Adam. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, thank you for playing. Thank you for playing our game. <laughs> and we got a pretty cool silhouette of the turtles there. <laughs> Admittedly, it's oh, kind of. Oh, wow, yeah, that looks good. Admittedly, it's kind of pixelated, but. Yeah. So, it's still pretty solid. Anyway, that's pretty much our one shot video. I guess you could technically call this a let's play of. Us doing the game. Technically. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I might, yeah. But anyway, we did complete the, t the game, and that's gonna be our, our new video. Yeah, we, <laughs> game time was 30 minutes. I guess it doesn't count the in-between stuff. <laughs> like yeah, because our recorder was at uh, 59 minutes. Yeah, almost an hour. Yeah. So like I said, it was not <laughs> that long. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And I hope you stay tuned uh, for more videos coming up. I got a lot of stuff planned, including a new Let's Play after this video comes up. Uh, I'll be pretty soon returning to the world of Grand Theft Auto. So I uh, hope you guys uh, can't wait for that. And I got some other cool stuff planned along the way as well. Thank you guys for watching. Go subscribe to this guy right here. Uh, mm. Plug yourself if you want. You know, and there you, <laughs> you go. You just did. <laughs> yeah, so see you guys next time whenever that is by the time this is uploaded i have no idea what i'll be doing <laughs> <laughs> all right